Hey everyone. Hi. 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 So. I'm angry. <laughs> we're we're both angry. I'm very angry. So. No, hold on. Okay. Listen. Listen. If you want to play games, don't do it on a Mac. Get a get a PC. Get a PC. Every time, get a PC. Get a Windows or a console. Something like that. Mac has screwed me over more times than I can count, and it's fine for, like, simple little games, right? But if you want to do things like stream with it or anything like that... Team Fortress 2, you know, anything that's in 3D... Don't do it. Something made in the past two decades. Just don't do it. Don't bother. So, I tried to do everything to get it to stream again, we to get tried. the sound to work. Well, let's, let's start from the beginning, right? We were playing scary games for October. And Sarah was like, I want to play one. And I was like, Sarah, you're in a different state. This was a couple of months ago when she was in a different state. The Sarah you see here is real and is, hi, not, hi. is not made with computer magic. Maybe. <laughs> I would have many of you if I could make you by computer magic. Hey, we're complaining right now. We're supposed to be bitching. You're right. We're I, mad. I'm very mad. So... So Sarah was like, I want to play this one. I was like, okay, so we're going to have to do some dumb shit. Are you, are you okay with that? And I was like, yeah, sure. I. So Sarah streams, my hole is a mouth of dirt, through Discord to me, and I record her Discord stream. This game keeps fucking getting louder on me. I'm going to turn it down even more. I record her Discord stream uh, and put my face over it, even though I'm not playing it. Um, because we But my, 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 my thing is like my camera's not good so it's yeah. fine um the thing i have in the background is a marathon meme i made by the way that's all that's very good i like that in case anyone was curious anyway so what happens then so we record four episodes and sarah's like well i'm busy and i need to get to bed so i better do you have your arm up oh no okay cool. no i do okay so sarah gets uh a lot of stuff happening with school because, you know, that's why she was in a different state and says, well, I can't record. That was in July. Hey, I graduate in May. She does. Which is like seven months. No, from the time you see it, it's still going to be around seven months. So mm, pray for me. Anyway, so July. I mean, it's not most people do graduate in May, I, I must say. True. Anyway, so Sarah, we both played that in July. Yes. Yes, we both played it in July and it was a lot of heartache, a lot of issues with the audio, but I was able to... Get the audio to work. There was just a setting that was impeding, you know, the audio working. Or, you know, we had issues where it's like, oh, I get the game audio, but oh, I don't have your voice. Or, um, But we got through that. But we got through it. So we are now in here. And I do want to say, minor announcement, uh, I'm sorry, but I have no idea where the hell I am in house. So there will not be any more episodes of House. Yeah, that's another thing. We couldn't figure it out. But it's fine. Please buy and play it for yourself. Support your indie developers. Uh, buy this game because it's free and you don't get anything for it. You know, you're not losing anything but your own time if you buy this game because it doesn't cost any money and it was free for both of us. And it's a good game so far. So we come to October here. And we're like, shit, we got to record. You know, this is going to come out in a couple of days. We still have a bit of time, but it will come out soon. And that's the problem because we need to record shit more. Um, you know, I realize that you're looking at either yourself or something that you got distracted by, but the camera is here. I know. Okay. I'm, just, I'm dissociating. It's fine. <laughs> anyway, so we've sat here for about an hour and a half trying to get shit running. And let me explain to you what exactly the issue is. For some reason... So, it, I don't know, if you ever try to stream with Discord, it has, you know, share application or share full screen. And when you share full screen, you have a little thing that says, hey, some of your audio might not be recorded. And, like, that's fine. I don't understand computers, but it makes sense to me. You know, there's just a lot going on with the full screen. You know, it probably doesn't make sense to stream your entire computer. Um, but it usually has the option to do applications. It wasn't giving me anything when i tried to do it today it wasn't giving me google it wasn't giving me my game it wasn't giving me steam even though i had all those applications up so i was like okay something happened with the files you know i moved some stuff around a couple couple weeks ago it's fine i'll just uninstall and reinstall and eventually steam's like hey i'm not updated i'm like okay could have told me that before but sure i update steam steam becomes an option to stream i upload uninstall or sorry 
reinstall, uninstall whole, like, uh, four, five times. Didn't happen, didn't work, and I said, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just going to replay the whole game on a window. <laughs> you know what? At this point, that's easier. Yeah. So, so. Anything you'd like to add? So, yeah, we've been fucking around. And, like, part of it is our fault. Because we said, we're going to play it on a Mac. And the person who's recording it is not going to be the one playing it. Get a Mac if, you, if you're in school. You know what? Because, like, if you're in it school. It is a school tool. It and, is like a textbook. And if you are in a, you know, very intense program... You know, you don't really have a whole lot of time to play video games anyway, so... I mean, you kind of... You know, get get what you get for your money, you know? Yeah. But... Oh. So, yeah. Like, granted, yes, we did say we're going to play it on a Mac, and someone with a PC will record it. And so that brought problems, because we literally had both laptops on this desk, my PC and Sarah's uh, Mac trying to get shit to go from one to the other. And we kind of got it to work a little bit, but, you know, we got echoes because I say something and it goes through Sarah's Discord, and then my mic hears it a second time. And then it still wasn't recording the application itself, yes. which is it has a what, weird window. It's, it's what would give me the application audio and the my voice audio. Just wasn't an option anymore. Yeah. So... so for the second time this month, we're going to play, I'm going to, well, I mean, I did it last time, but Sarah's going to play an RPG pixel horror game completely from start, from the scratch, to get uh, the shit working correctly. Uh, happy Halloween, everyone. I hope you appreciate it. Happy Halloween. Hmm. Hmm. Did I do it? Okay, I think, I think it's working. Okay. We have run back to here. Can I full screen it? No, don't. No, no, okay. Do not do that. Okay. It fucking, when you full screen this game, it just starts to break shit. Okay, okay. We discovered that earlier. Sorry, this is like... I, I ran through this game. It actually is pretty short. I figure that most of the time is because uh, I cut my episodes a little shorter and uh, because I just wanted... You can, get, you can get continue. Okay, sorry. I just wanted to like touch base on like why we're yelling. Because <laughs> like... Well, they've seen the other clip that we recorded. Yeah, fair enough. Well, we, we've gotten through some of it. But yeah, like it's pretty short. It's only like 30 minutes to an hour when you're actually just sprinting through it. Yeah. And like the, the fact that we take time to read things out and talk about it, we're doing like a fucking Wooly versus playthrough. Hey, continue. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Waiting on you here, babe. So you can see it's only 45 minutes. No time like fucking now. Oh, God. God. Escape. So yeah, you don't hit use on the save things, you just walk over them and it just goes. Which I think is a little, uh, you can hit space for all of those. Are you ready to enter the hole? Yes. So yeah, we sprinted through the whole game. Uh, you don't actually have like a real sprint button, which is great. You just start to go faster sometimes when the game decides it. Uh, sometimes it's not even when monsters are around you. Sometimes you'll just have to use your normal movement speed when monsters are here. I hate this bitch. So if you remember, we actually quit this part because we had problems. <laughs> okay. Okay. Close. close. All right. Now phase two starts. Fuck. Okay. 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 I hate her no 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 uh 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 you can't double back you gotta just blast forward you get penalized so hard in this game and you can't fucking skip this part or anything i was talking about this off camera earlier but in death stranding which is a better survival horror game than this even though death stranding is not survival horror it just has some scary parts because all kojima games do yeah, all Kojima games do. Even Zone of the Enders does. I was thinking about that. I forget who it is. Neftis? Because Anubis is the main guy. Well, the main, you know, he's Virgil. But anyway, like, Death Stranding has an amazing mechanic where if you get caught by a big-ass ghost, what actually happens to you is that you activate the fucking, like... The, the like, they get you system and you have a chance to get away. And if you keep your wits about you, 
you can double down and use it to get away even better than you were. And so, like, it's not the end of the world if you get grabbed. You can get around them even with getting grabbed. So, yeah, the problem with these guys is that you just kind of have to wait. So now you got to wait for this guy to move. And that guy. And they box you in. And, like, well, now we've just made a wrong choice, you know? So, yeah, the reason I, I was having trouble because I was, like, messing with the settings for the first time to try and get this to work. And so, like, I hit streaming first. Yeah, she, I was like, okay, hit the button that says start record, and she hits the button that says start streaming, and... Honest mistake. Luckily, luckily, I don't think my fucking stream started, so we don't have to worry about someone being like, hey, who's streaming the fifth episode of an LP <laughs> that isn't out yet? Okay, but honest mistake, though. Honest mistake. Yeah. They are next to each other. So, yeah, I think a lot of this game is, like... I honestly feel like a lot of it is just, like, for its own sake, you know? That's the pizza. That's the pizza. Let me take over. No. Okay. Will you look at the pizza? Okay. If you die here, pause the recording. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ah, ah, ah. Darn it! All right, I'm pausing the recording. How do I work this? All right, pizza break is over. We ate some pizza. I had five slices, Sarah had three. Yeah. It's and a good amount for us. I angry ate it the entire time. Yeah, we were like... Okay. Plunge into that hole, my son. Ugh. Okay. You give commentary, and I, I defeat... So yeah, this is such a this is such an RNG dependent area. Because it really requires because like with this, you can have a memorized path, you know? And be like, okay, now I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna push this one. And I think that Sarah has pushed that one multiple times. Because it works, you know, it's fine. You can get you can get this area down. And that's fine. Correct, yes. I, I, think, I have this part done. I think the Mushroom fact that Valley, you, I have it. Yeah. Pol like it's it's like more, it's almost more like a polyp. Can these things hurt you, by the way? Yeah, you. On that side. Okay, so this part is a hard because you have to rely on nobody blocking this one wide. You okay, know? he stays. He's literally just staying here. I wonder, do they move to block my path intentionally? They might also be trying to move the way that you're going. So I have to, like, fake them out, maybe? Maybe. Because I, you know, I'm playing it, so it's hard for me to have the perspective. Yeah, and I'm dumb, so I don't have that perspective. Just in general? Yeah, typically. Well, uh, like, you point, like, back when we played Dark Souls 3, and, like, we didn't play it for the channel. I was just playing it to show Sarah. I had never beaten uh, Storm King, or the Nameless King, and King of the Storm. Um, specifically, I had just never killed phase two i can get through phase one no problem and like sarah pointed out like a minor thinking error that i was just doing every time um that was getting me killed every time and it's why i hadn't beat the storm king after like four years of dark souls three being out yeah it was the way you rolled yeah you just have to roll like that like vertical horizontal rolling versus or sorry vertical rolling versus horizontal rolling so is he even here? Because I feel like he only enters the scene later. Yeah, there he is. Big wide, big wide uh, path opening up. So here there's a lot of them, but it's a wider area, so you might be able to get through. Hey, 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 hey. hey. There's a hole. There's Quick. a hole. Oh, why is it? Oh. It Did, I do, so Did I do it? Did I do it? I'm sorry, we probably blew up the fucking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it has been four months since we've done that. Let's bring it down. Do you remember the voice? Do you remember the voice I did? Uh, you just kind of did like a slightly creepy voice. Because at the beginning, it was just like it, we didn't know how fucked up Mole is, but like now he's like, yeah, I want to fucking break all these teeth. Oh, okay. Thrust myself into these god vaginas. Okay. All right. I woke up outside. Yeah, there you go. That was it. Oh my god. 
This is my first time out of, out of the tunnels in months. Look at how good it looks. That little marshmallow must have landed in the river and then carried off by the current. Like a Moses. I just can't believe I'm outside again. Like, look at how good the trees look. Like, granted, they're a little cartoony, but, like, compared to how, like, stark and, like... Like, the other shit looks like Nine Inch Nails. <laughs> and this is, like, coloring book stuff. It looks so nice by comparison. The world is still going to end, I reckon. I agree, by the way. Thank you for the voice acting. Everything comes to an end eventually. But I think I can spend the end of days with the rest of society now. As long as I keep my fedora on. God must have sent me to those tunnels to bring the baby to life. Wake me up. Though I no longer hear his voice, I hope the Lord is happy with me. I hope I accomplished what he wanted me to do. Though it is a bit of a shame the chapel is probably going to go to waste. Oh, oh well. well. <laughs> that's, that's Mole's character. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, well. I have no idea what Mole is supposed to look like. Hmm. This place gives me a strange feeling. I think I came here before I descended down into the tunnels. Well, it looks like it's a straight right. line back and forth. Then that means... What does it mean? Here, Lamb. Oh, I'm gonna get the Here, mouse. Here, Lamb! Oh, was that there the entire time? Whoops. Ah, oh, well. Ah. You're here, aren't you? Where are you, Lamb? I've been remembering you recently. He's gotta be around here somewhere. I bet Lamb is the dog. The dog? Yeah, the dog. Oh, there you are, Lamb. I knew you must have been around here. I'm happy no one else found you. I love spelling no one like that. <laughs> I was feeling a bit guilty for leaving you here alone. Lamb, how have you been doing, boy? Oh, is it going to be eating marshmallow? Lamb, why aren't you speaking to me? Or dead. I mean, that's fair I too. know I left you, but I came back. See? Listen, God stopped talking to me. Listen, I'm not talking to God anymore. He's weird. I could really use your accompaniment now, boy. Also, it just goes. Okay. Lamb, why won't you come any closer? <laughs> Are Lamb's you like, afraid of me, boy? <laughs> Lamb's like... <laughs> <laughs> Lamb, don't be scared! I'm not scary anymore! I'm not sacrificing children anymore. I'm gonna anymore. show you all the love in me. Ugh. Simon will make it all better. Gross. Make up for all the, those nasty old Simon did to you. Please speak to me. <laughs> I really want to talk to someone. Why are you ignoring me? I don't like it when you ignore me, lamb. Don't make me punish you. Please say something. I'll cut your... Oh, Why well. is everyone ignoring me? Uh-huh. Roll credits? Okay. What the fuck was this game about? <laughs> it's so isolated. Aesthetic Gamer, a.k.a. Dust Golem. Hmm. Spy work by the very same. M did the mole sprite. I have a feeling there's different endings and maybe I got the bad one. I don't know. I think that the... Because the, where, where do we get the chance to make a choice, you know? Where's my choice? Where was my... Where was mole's choice? Okay, maybe there's some after credits. Maybe. Sarah, you have beaten a game for the channel. I don't think you've done that before. Yay! So yeah, good job. How's the sound, by the way? Did we, is the uh, video uh, game... Click on OBS. Okay, and compared to us, we talk over it. That's good. We're supposed to. But we can turn it down more if you want. Yeah, well, I was thinking we can just let them listen to the music and cut us out for a little... <laughs> they yeah. can listen to the music anywhere. My, my, my channel's not about music. Us fade in, or fade out, music fade in. No, we're, we're, we're going <laughs> to bitch about the game. That's what we do. That's the tradition now. When we do the fucking credits, uh, leave a review. It's valuable feedback and helps spread the game. If you haven't played them, find them all on Steam. Yeah, I, I don't know if I talked about this on cam, but... um. Work very hard on number of I projects. think I will. I will leave a review. Uh, appreciate it. if you follow me on Steam, Twitter, or Discord. So yeah, um I will do that, Yai Game Works. Thank you. Apparently the other games are in canon or related to the themes of this. Um Aww, you did that's help. very sweet. Aw, that is nice. So, um To be continued, in Close Your Eyes. Close Your Eyes, the anniversary remake. So okay. Close Your Eyes is out, and they're remaking it. 
Should we play it? I kind of want to play it. We could do that. You're hesitant because of how much struggle we had with this yes, one. Yes, I, I can, am. I can, I can hear the hesitancy. <laughs> but, but Yai Gameworks, this was amazing. I'm always with you, little marshmallow. And that's it. That's my whole is amount of dirt. And so, Good job beating a game for the channel, babe. Yeah, thank you. I, you know, I'm kind of confused about what the meaning is. I'm kind of getting some post-apocalyptic. Um... Well, it's so isolated, you know? Well, what do you mean by that? We never get a chance to see anyone that's not Simon or somebody who talks to Simon who may just be a crazy figment. And it doesn't help that every single person that Simon talks to is fucking insane themselves. So, like, it could just be fine, normal, like, Cincinnati out there. But it also could be actually post-apocalyptic and, and Mole was right to do this. Because, you know, obviously there's a couple of choices that the character makes that I don't feel like I have the choice to do. How many of um, them are before you start playing? And, you know, fair enough. And, you know, I'm not going to talk about that right now because I actually don't know if I made the wrong decision, if I did something different. However, I will say that when I am playing a game, I appreciate... You know, of course, you have to have a character that has a personality and is predisposition to make certain decisions. But yeah. if I'm playing a game, I w okay. Now we're doing okay. So our recording didn't start, and when I restarted it, it didn't start a second time. Um, I don't know what happened, but we cut off when you were saying you want to have choices in a game. So. I want to have choices in a game, and I don't know if I said this in the past recording. Sorry, but I want to, you know. A character who's predisposition predisposition to make certain choices. They have a personality, but no matter what your personality is, you can always make a choice. Yeah. And I think that's important in gameplay. And like I said, I don't know if I messed up somewhere, so maybe, you know, I'm wrong. But also, what is the creator's intent? That's also really important when you're trying to critique a game. That's so I, fair, too, because I feel like I don't understand the intent. Like, is the weird teeth imagery just because teeth are gross and mouths make you think of vor? And, like, because I feel like there's a bit of, like, sexual stuff in this game that is very underrepresented. But I feel like it definitely has undertones to make you think of weird sex or abuse or just, like, chewing on something, which is not good for it. But, like, something about it, you know? Because this game treats religion as, like, a thing that makes people do crazy shit. Like, Mole just living in the hole for... How long was he in? Like, eight months? I have an idea. Yeah. Let's... Let's take a break. Let's go read about it. Let's go see... You know. Well, here's my thing, right? We've beaten the game. Well, you've beaten the game, and good job. But, um... Thank you. If someone has beaten a game, they are usually able to talk about it. And, RPG pixel horrors, though. Well, okay. So if in a normal game, when you beat a game with multiple endings, you are qualified to talk about like 90% of it. Because normally in a game, the ending just changes the last cutscene, you know? Mm -hmm. Like if you get the multiple endings in Deus Ex Human Revolution, I would say you are qualified to talk about like 70% of that game. And then the rest of it is, are you going lethal, talk through your problems, or or non-lethal talk through your problems, stealth, or are you going guns blazing, kill all your problems, you break laws to get shit done. But, like, something like this doesn't have a lot of choice. Because, like, any time that a, a dialogue box came up for us to pick something, it was either progress or stay where you are. And that's not exactly a choice, because progression is how a game is played and how a story moves forward. And we don't truly have a choice if... Like when the dialogue box says, dialogue box pops up and says, "Okay, but maybe go forward or not." Maybe you know? maybe we did and we just didn't notice. But at the very least, we are also qualified to talk about this. Like if you do a renegade playthrough of Mass Effect, you are definitely qualified to talk about a renegade playthrough of Mass Effect. Like I did this playthrough, I romanced this person, I got this ending. Like I am qualified to talk about all of this and. We are, at the very least, qualified to discuss this aspect of the game. Um, and, like, it is weird and cool and, like, kind of stylized. I don't know how much substance it has, but part of that is just because it's an hour long when we really get down to it. Well, 
I really want to take a moment and... Sit right there. Well, I want to appreciate the parts of the game because it's kind of spooky. It's weird, yeah. Like, going going back and forth, um, you know, suddenly the lights are out and you kind of feel helpless. Um, There's a lot of that in this. And I feel like this game mostly does a good job with that. The end is a bit much, but mostly your feeling of, like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm going to get got by some monster is pretty well founded i would say yeah you feel very isolated and you feel like i feel a sense of like hoping and wanting from the main character and i think that was portrayed really well um i'm gonna check and see if this has two endings you know i would love a little i don't know maybe if i would have just gotten a little more story instead of kind of like yeah. a, a very obtuse things but um, you know, I was scared, and if it's a horror game, good job. You did you did what you did. You did what you you needed to do to make a horror game. There are not multiple endings. So that was the one. That's the one ending that there is. Well, I kind of figured because it doesn't pop up and say you got ending C or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I feel like. This is also a very early work by the creator, so you know, take some other things with a grain of salt because, like, they're still putting stuff together here. Cool art, too. It does have pretty good art, yeah. The pixel art is pretty solid. Um, I feel like the music. Oh, the music was good. Music's great. The vocals, I feel like, are a little weird to include. I feel like you can you can just get by with having just ambient sounds or the occasional like more punchy rock like boss theme if I this think, game had combat. I think that comes down to personal like preference honestly because yeah. i thought the weird distorted voice i don't really hear that in a lot of rpg pixel games i thought that was very unique yeah and i thought it was creepy and um you know i thought maybe a little bit it could like if there was just a little more it would have been overused but i think they they struck a nice balance with using it it just it wasn't like every sequence so yeah um i worry about Having songs with vocals, sometimes you have the vocals do more of the work in doing stuff than you have the game. Because I don't know how much of the music in here was made for this game, or if it was just picked up because it was relevant, you know? Because, like, if if you put, like, a licensed song into a game, then it may as well be an AMV. And I talked about Death Stranding already, but Kojima abuses that sometimes. But he also uses it very intentionally to show a character's like personal music tastes or you know to have an ironic pick like haha look this song's called rebel yell and we're playing fun rebels who then commit war crimes and destabilize the economy um but yeah part of, i i also just don't know where this music comes from so maybe it was made for the game and if so uh extra props because that's that's something that most people don't even really do like also, the game the game made my teeth hurt, which I thought is like pretty cool. Like that one, I'm not so sure about because like if if a game um, like I don't, like if if a game just had a a shot of somebody just getting punched in the nards a lot, and my ball started to ache as a director was or like Outlast, Outlast has a lot of cock and ball torture. Yeah, but how many times do you get to see like a tooth shatter and like? It is unique imagery. It's very unique imagery. But it is a very easy and simple way to get it in there you know just but, like i'm gonna have a tooth break it will make someone's tooth hurt but they did use it you know and I, I think they used it effectively yes um i think okay you know what made me hate it there there's one part where the path isn't actually wide enough to be blocked by sorry the path is too wide and the like tooth graphic that they have isn't big enough to fill the the thing so there's just this weird red box on the side of the path. I'll point it out to you in the recording if I see it again. Um, and you can go back and check yourself. But like when, when you're heading to the, the drainage ditch right before you throw a marshmallow out, there's a weird red box on the side of the tooth and it makes it so you can't, like, that'd be in last episode now that I think. You can't go around it. And I don't know where that block is there. And later before you enter the last hole with um, the, the Afro skeleton, there's a wider tooth. And it's like, is this here to just make roadblocks or is it doing something or what's the deal here? You know, it's just kind of an odd pick. 
Um, and it does make sense, like, the, the fact that the devil is just a large, hungry mouth that just either talks to you sweetly or bites down hard and is then represented with teeth. That is clever. Um, maybe more could be done with that. But, like, again, the game is so short that I understand why nothing is done with it. I thought it was, you know, a nice little experience, you know, and um, yeah. I think that, like the, the creator has some great, great, great things going on here. And I would love to see more from them. And, you know, hopefully I, I get to, you know, if not for the channel, I'll play it by myself because we'll come back and play it, you know. So um, maybe next year um, we can come back and try another EI Games thing. Mm -hmm. The anniversary one might be out, but I might go back and play the original. Um I'll, I'll wait and see what they say, actually, because some, some devs have been like, don't play the original, I didn't know what I was doing. Play the remake, it's just the same game, but made a little better. Um, and, like, in this game, there are a few accessibility things. Like, in most RPG horrors, you need to click on something you want to push once to start pushing it. But in here, like, in an area where all you can do is push, like, at the very end with the, the skeleton chasing you, you still have to click to get them to push. And, like, there's just a bunch of little things like that that kind of show the amateurism. I do want to mention, like, completely not related to horror, the little silk silkworm baby. So cute. I loved it, you know. And usually when you get, like, a, you know, an, an innocent thing or something you have to take care of, it feels like a... Um, a chore. It feels like a chore. But, like, I didn't feel that. I felt like, oh, my God, this thing is so cute. I have to protect it. That's great. Yeah. Like it made me it made me want to continue. And one of my biggest things with games is what but doesn't make me want to play them is I say, why do I care? Yeah. And that's not what this game did. This game said I this like continuously is like I care. I want to protect baby silkworm. So I don't like baby silkworm. But on the oh, flip yeah, okay. side, yeah, I I don't think it's I think it's too simple and I think like feeding it with like, slicing your nipple off and breastfeeding a baby with your blood is a little much. And I think it's just weird and scary for the sake of being weird and scary. Um, but on the flip side, I totally wanted to just be like, how fucked up does this get? Like, <laughs> I walked into a mouth full of gnashing teeth, and then I walked into what appears to be a, like, doorway-sized vulva. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm creeped out. There's weird imagery. I want to see what the fuck this game is doing i want to see what is going on um and like i will say i'm i'm kind of disappointed by the fact that like the ending is just that we see a dismembered dog like it's not that creepy considering all that we've seen and like maybe they're hoping to like resensitize you to violence by showing you the nice coloring book outside world and then give you some more violence but like I don't know. I think the sequence could have been a little, a little more exposition. No, exposition? No. Explanation? No. What's after the climax? Resolution. Falling? Resolution. Resolution. I think a little more resolution would have would have been nice, but you know. Because I I had even forgotten that Lamb was a, a factor in this, and we just yeah you were the like whole thing. you were like what dog? Yeah, I didn't remember <laughs> it. And like the fact that he killed the dog is like I don't even remember that. Did he kill the dog? I mean, the dog is dead, and there's only one weird character in this game. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I think we've said all we can. I think so, too. And I've looked around, and there's not very much right. And you know what? Take what we say with a grain of salt, because there could be some things that we are missing, you know. Yes, apparently there are some secrets we missed. Yeah, so, you know, like I said. Game's free. Go find them yourself. Yeah, yeah. Go play it. You know, this. Or I guess I can point here. I thought this was a fun experience, you know, play it in the dark, play it with some friends, you know, discuss what you think it's about. Um, you know, very cool. And thank you for making it. Yeah, it was a, it was pretty all right. Yeah. All right. Thank you for let's playing it. Thank you for, you know, letting me do it. Co-commenting? Oh, yeah. I, Co I, I allowed you. I let you out of the dog cage. <laughs> Lamb. She, she's laughing because I'm the one who sleeps in a dog cage. Yeah. <laughs> you can't agree with me. People won't think. Listen, I patted the dog cage. Oh my shut. He begged and begged and I'm gonna begged. kill myself. So I got him a little little. I'm gonna kill myself. Got I'm in hell and you're Satan. Yeah. Well. 
Oh, that reminds me. I have to refill your little, like, water. The hamster bottle. That little hamster bottle. <sighs> um, in case you missed it earlier, I don't know what the hell I'm doing in house, so house is canceled for now. Buy it yourself. I'm, I'm really, I'm really pointing to you there. House is real good. Buy that one. Yeah, and, and house if you're, is pretty good. And if you're developing games, look at that. That game has a cool, nice time loop. And like, granted, like four or five games that are about time loops have come out in the past like couple of months. And you know why? It's because time loops are cool. They're time great. loops are cool. And I will say, we got very frustrated with that game, but we still enjoy it. We yes. There's, that's that's the problem with a game like that. I feel like. If House had like a proper like 3D control style, um, a lot of the issues I had would would be gone. Um, it feels almost like a mobile game, but we're talking about a different game again. What the fuck does my hole was a mouth of dirt mean? I don't know. Okay, a mouth of dirt is a mouth that's literally made of earth, and then the hole. He has a hole, and it's Satan's mouth because Satan was the mouth, the big mouth. And I don't, I, I can't even. I don't wait, know. Wait, I know. Okay. Satan just talks to you, right? Unless he's chewing you up, he just talks to you. Oh yeah, we can embiggen ourselves. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, Satan just talks to you. So like, maybe the maybe the title is about how. You know, you're always going to have to deal with Satan whispering stuff to you. You know, maybe that's it. Yeah. Although I do think it is just to create like a weird gross title, like putting hole and mouth in the same title and then dirt. I think it might just be gross or weird for the sake of weird. My hole is a mouth of dirt. Yeah. My hole. What is, I don't know what my hole is, you know? Maybe it's the, the cave that he lives in. And it's like a mouth in a, a metaphorical sense. It's just a wide opening, and it's made of dirt. Hmm. Hansel. Okay. Hansel. Well, I have no. I have nothing else to say. I think. Do you want to give it a rating out of ten? Hmm. Because we don't have to do that. I normally don't. But if you want to, um, the onus is on you. Like, what are we rating it? Like, a scale of, like, horror games? Are we rating it personally? Like, how much did I enjoy this? As I mean, an RPG pixel horror game, stack it up to the other giants, like Mermaid Swamp or Ib. Um, 6.5. I would say that's fair. I would also give it, like, a 6. It's not bad, so I can't say it's below a 5, assuming that 5 is average. Granted, there's a weird rank inflation with rating games, but whatever. I would say anything above a five, I would recommend to my friends. Yeah. Um, but I would I would usually say, hey, I played this game. I like it. What if you don't play it? I understand. That's yeah. that's what that's how my from five to seven range is. When I get above a seven, okay, I'm starting to push people. I'm like, See, hey, I I play rate it. games in in the quality of them because I think that Death Stranding is a ten out of ten. But I could not safely recommend that to everyone I know. That's fair, yeah, I... Because this game is decently well-made. It does demonstrate a good level of knowledge with uh, RPG Maker, or whatever engine this uses. I think it's RPG Maker. I think it's RPG Maker. Um, it, it might be a different one, like a different branded one than the one that you use, but I digress. Um, in terms of writing, it's pretty all right. Um, it paints a good picture of a really... It's very... Colorful weird, writing. Weird, demented guy who lives in a drainage ditch. It's very good at that, and that's a very specific thing to need to get good at. And it does it pretty well. Um, in terms of substance, I think that's where it's really lacking, as well as some accessibility stuff, and maybe the length. I know that all games don't have to be long. His name is also Mole, and like he does live underground, so that's pretty cool. Yeah. That's, that's all. Yeah. Honestly, my brain's kind of fried from, like... Fucking speedrunning this game. <laughs> yeah. But speedrunning for a given value of speedrunning because there's very little choice to be made here. Like this game could just be a straight line and you just hit a button occasionally and it dispenses more horror like a vending machine. Cause like there's not a lot of exploration or puzzle here as well. That's something that I feel like takes it down. Because like, how much fun in a horror game is the puzzle? Like, I will say some of the spatial stuff could be considered like a puzzle. There's some light puzzling, you know, but and there's not enough. I actually saw some of the, the spatial stuff and, um, you know, 
I kind of want to include it in my, you know, own uh, game making because I you yeah. know, love RPG pixel horrors. I plan to make a few of my own, and you know, I think that really inspired me. So, yeah, it's a cool game. Um, I think I think a six is is I think it's definitely worthy of a six. Yep. Sarah says six point five. Uh, but this game says religion bad and make you evil, so Kate would love it. Kate might love it. Kate might love it. Yeah. So we're we're agnostic, by the way. We don't like <laughs> we don't swing either way. Yeah. Um. Like I understand that. Like, because on the on the one hand, you could go the route of religion bad make you do bad things. And that's fair, because religion has been responsible for a lot of things, but this is a debate that I almost don't want to get into. Because, like, you know, you could make a horror game where you're, like, Muslim and it's set during the Crusades. And, like, I would think that you should do a lot of tact to yeah. represent that properly. And maybe, like, be Muslim yourself. That might help, too. Yeah. But on the other hand, if you were Catholic doing that, then you would definitely understand how fucked up your own people are. Yeah. You know? Here's all my Catholic guilt. Please play my game. And and then on the totally and then like that's a fairly realistic way of going about it. And on the total like opposite flip side, you have like um was that comic that um you got recently? It's like Twin Peaks, but there's like a preacher in it. Like total weird like Book of Revelations, end of the world biblical stuff that vaguely draws on the Bible. Like that's totally on the opposite end. And this is way towards that. And like the abstract horror that you get with that, I don't know how much the Bible taken as a horror concept needs to be abstract. Cause there's a lot of stuff in there that already can be scary, you know? Yeah. Well, I'm done. I'm done. All right. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, in fact, for watching. Subscribe to this guy. He does more of this cool stuff. I do. Um, earlier this month, uh, I played House, also with my wife. She showed it to me and scared my butt off. But don't worry, it's back. Yeah, and, um, you know. Earlier, I also played Mermaid Swamp, which is an excellent, excellent, like, that is that is the report card that I grade other RPG pixel horrors on. It is my favorite. I will say, mm -hmm. it's not the best RPG pixel horror, but it is my favorite. It's probably my third favorite. I will play more. I have a whole playlist, in fact, of weird RPGs. And there is Omori and Hylix, which are more traditional RPGs. Um, and then this month, Halloween, I played Castlevania. I played House. I played uh, Castlevania 2, that is, um, in my ongoing Castlevania series. And then next month, November, I'm going to be playing uh, some shooters. I'm going to be playing more RPGs. I'm going to try playing Morrowind. I'm going to play Quake. Um, this has turned into a podcast, I think. They usually do. Yeah. That's fine, though. Uh, I'm going to play Quake, which has some more weird, pseudo-religious, uh, meaty, meaty horror, if you're into that. Um, we're going to try playing a shooter together, me and Sarah. Yeah, and, you know, like I was about to say, um, you know, I'm in a very rigorous program, but... Pretty, Sarah is in college. But pretty soon, I'm going to be able to play more games, and... Well, hey, if, you know, you like seeing me sometimes, I'm in a playlist, so. Yes, I have a playlist of all of the uh, videos that Sarah features on. Now, some of them have bad audio, and granted, my audio hasn't gotten that much better, but if you can suffer through it, then you can watch us play Dishonored 1. Yep. We still need to come back and play the DLC and Dishonored 2, and we will do that someday. And um, we will get a second microphone at some point, but. Yes, we have been sharing this one. I do have to graduate college and start making that money, so. But we've uh, tried to stop this this train wreck like four or five times now. Yeah. So do you want to do the outro? I've been Sarah. I've been Alfred. And this has been My Hole is a Mouth of Dirt. Thank you. Happy Halloween, everyone. Bye. Happy Halloween. Bye. Do, do, do.